Remember that night when I cried in the garden? I knew back then I would die a martyr. Don't lie, it's harder. I said right then you would turn on me. Still concerned for you, but no concern for me. Let me burn this peace. Go and cross my heart for eternity. What up? Still I'm overthinking this life. I try to try. Give my all, but I can't win in this fight. I don't know why. Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get a free e walkie talkie. Feel the force. What's going on, YouTube? It's Knox Hill, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, wow. Today is gonna be an exciting day because we are going to do something for the very first time on this channel. That's right, we're making history. We're gonna jump into the world of epic rap battles. Now I know, I know you guys have been recommending it. I've seen the comments. You know, I read each and every one, the good, the bad, the troll. The even worse than the troll? No, those are the ones who are supposed to be off of their mom's iPads. It's well past their bedtime. They've had too much sugar. And yeah, they just don't know when to stop. But I read them all, guys. And you have been recommending ERB for a while now. Honestly, I've been kind of slow to jump into it because, well, one, there's, there's some great reaction channels out there that do it. And you guys know that I am more of a breakdown sort of reactor. I talk about the musicality. I talk about the lyrics. I talk about so many things. But to dive into these worlds, you really got to know some of the backgrounds and the stories behind it. But I don't, I don't know how I want to attack this. So I'm just going to let it play and kind of do my thing. And let's, let's see how well I do. I'm sure I'll miss some stuff. If I do, you guys, please comment below. Let me know because some of you know the fan lore. You'll know the references better than me. But I am a Star Wars fan. I've also followed the Harry Potter series, so I feel like this is a good one to start with. We're going to do Luke Skywalker versus Harry Potter, the Lego throwdown. But real quick, before we go any further, if you guys like the song in the intro, I've dropped a brand new album, 20 tracks. It is called Chaos Theory. I've put so much time and heart and soul into it. You want to support me, support this channel directly. I will put that link below. But anyways, anyways, Harry Potter, Luke Skywalker. Never thought I would be saying those names in the same sentence. Step up to the plate. Let's see what you got. <laughs> oh, I think I've only heard like one ERB in my life, so I don't I didn't realize that that voice must always start it and just be like the intro, like the hype man. Who's, whose voice is that, man? That's just... That's wild. Let's go. Lego style, baby. I'm ready. Yo. This beat is fuego. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. I love just some of the, uh, the chime instrumentation in the background. But, man, Accio Mike. That's the uh, the summoning spell, you know? So he's he's calling forth the mic. And like Hermione and Ron, he's getting it all, man. It's, it's go time. It's go time. It's baby making time on this mic. Let me fire up the wand like Hermione and Ron. I'm about to get it on. Because my mouth spits hot like incendio flames. Mm. You look warm like some torn, torn remains. Even the mad eye of my mind. Wordplay. Points for wordplay, man. I love that. You're lukewarm like some tauntaun remains. So Luke Skywalker being warm, right? And your flow, you know, it's not hot. It's just it's just lukewarm. That's a nice double. And the tauntaun, when he was on Hoth, right? The ice planet, and he had to stay warm. He cut open the tauntaun and slept inside of the tauntaun that night. You know, many people have seen um, The Revenant with Leonardo, right? when he cuts open the horse and sleeps inside the horse. And they think that that was such a cool scene and the first time that was done. No, 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 no. You need to go back in time, okay? Star Wars, Luke Skywalker did it first. Man, those those lines hit hard. And then obviously Incendio, Incendio Flames. Is that, um, that was the curse that, uh, which one? Which one was it? Was it Crab or Goyle that did it? I can't remember. Um, in the Room of Requirement. And then that flame just got out of control. It was just a terrible curse. And he's basically, he's spitting that flame right now. He's spitting that flame. Let's go. The wand, like Hermione and Ron. I'm about to get it on. Cause my mouth spits hot like incendio flames. You look warm like some torn torn remains. Like Even the mad eye of my man, Alistair Moody, <laughs> could see your franchise only has two decent movies. Such your feelings. Even the mad eye of my man, Alistair Moody. Do 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 do. That's that's a nice little flow pocket that he hit right there, man. I like that. And then the diss about the movies, cause wow, it's funny, isn't it? Like 
There isn't a set of Star Wars movies that is, you know, undeniably really good movies that you can't argue. Like, people either love or hate the prequels. I mean, in my time, everybody hated the prequels. You know, people either love or hate the sequels. You got Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi got a lot of flack. I mean, the best movie in the franchise, Empire Strikes Back, far and away. But think about how many years ago that was now. Wow. That's that's a diss. That's a diss. My mind, Alistair Moody could see your franchise mm. only has bounce into this. Such your feelings. Do you sense deja vu? You're getting smoked like your uncle Owen and Aunt Maru. You're acting <laughs> the Lego violence. Oh my, what is going on right now? We got skeletons just burning up in flame. That is that's tough. That's tough, as Shaq says right there. And then search your feelings. Who tells Luke to search his feelings? Is it Obi-Wan that tells him to search his feelings? No, Darth Vader does to know the truth that he is his father. Oh, man, I love that. We're using some movie qu movie quotes here as a part of the disc. Man, Alistair Moody could see your franchise only has two decent movies. movies. Search your feelings. Do you sense deja vu? You're getting smoked like your uncle Owen oh. and Aunt Maru. Your acting is flat and your raps on 2 d too. Fuck him off to the afterlife. Wait. Man, there's some really good depth to these lyrics. I'm surprised by the writing. I wasn't ready for this. There's some nice doubles and triples going on here. You know, your acting's flat. So, hey, hey, you ain't got to do him like that. You know, when you say an actor's flat, you just say that, you know, he doesn't have a lot of color to his performance. There's not a lot of personality. He's not giving you enough. So he's dissing that, but also 2D, like on a 2D plane, because that's a flat plane. But your raps are 2D2, R2D2. Hey, that's clever. When it's on the roof, your acting is flat and your raps are too deep too. Fuck her off to the afterlife where you're fat and see through. You're the biggest letdown in your series since Snow. It makes sense your father's Vader. All you do is choke. Uh. You country bumpkin, you must be dumb. This, this Lego animation is dope, man. You got Vader, you know, choking him with the force. All you do is choke. You're choking on this mic right now. You can't handle Harry. You don't want that smoke. And then he's dissing the, uh, what, Snoke's origin story and what he actually was, like, mutant clone. It makes sense your father's Vader. All you do is choke. Uh. You country bumpkin, <laughs> you must be dumb. Who farms moisture on a desert planet with two suns? Let me stick my plans. Who farms moisture on a desert planet with two suns? I get the diss, because it's like, you know, why would you do that? Because the amount of work and effort that would take. But also at the same time, you know, in terms of uh, supply and demand, I'm sure there is a large demand for moisture on a desert planet. Then you must be dumb. Who farms moisture on a desert planet with two suns? Let me stick my plans in your dusty... Did, did two Harrys pop out behind him, like the two sons? Ooh, we got a little visual double going on there. Check this out. Be dumb. Who farms moisture on a desert planet with two sons? Nice. Let me stick my plans in your dusty bin droid. <laughs> I'll leave you like a horcrux, split up and destroy. Ooh. I don't know who made you shoot. Hey, because, you know, when Voldemort created the horcruxes, he had to commit murder. He split his soul split the horcruxes in order to do that. So he's basically splitting you up and he's destroying you. That was, that was... That was nice from Harry, man. I didn't know Harry was a cold-hearted microphone assassin. Let's go, Luke. What you got? I'll leave you like a horcrux, split up and destroyed. I don't know who made you shoot first, but that missed. If I was you, I'd have. I don't know who made you shoot first. It's almost like his voice is cracking there. He's hitting a little bit of puberty. I like that. <laughs> That's just a nice little personality to start it with. Shoot first, but miss. It's like Han Solo shooting first and missing. Split up and destroyed. I don't know who made you shoot first, but that missed. If I was you, I'd have a bad feeling about this. Ooh, I'm a rhyming Jedi like my father before me. Your talking hat should have put you in Gryffindor. <laughs> Your origin story is... Eh, eh, it's not really hitting for me yet. It's not really hitting for me yet. Griffin Dorky, okay. All right, Harry, you're a nerd. You wear glasses. I mean, those are those are the obvious disses. Come on. I mean, Harry has set the bar, man. We've had some clever stuff. I want I want some clever lines from Luke. But the uh, rhyming Jedi like my father before me. I, I might be reaching, but wasn't wasn't Darth Vader on one of these? I'm pretty sure he was. My father before me, your talking hat should have put you in Griffin Dorky. Your origin story is mostly stolen from me. Ah. Uh, but Harry, I planted your seed. Hey. Little orphan raped by there we go. That's what we want. That's what we're here for. We want some bars. Now that's a bar playing off of a potter planting seeds. His name is Harry Potter, right? And the origin story. Wow, I've never thought about that before. 
because, you know, both of them lost their parents. They were orphaned young. Then a, you know, strange, magical character comes in and rescues them and changes their lives. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's, that's, that's a good disc. You might be Potter, but Harry, I planted your seed. Planted your seed? Is that Voldemort? Like Voldemort planted Harry's seed? Like, is it? That looks like it could be Voldemort that he's holding up there. See, little orphan raised by relatives in solitude. Yep. Suddenly gets taken under wing of funky wizard dude. Yeah. Learns that he's been destined to have powerful gifts. Yeah. But between the two of us, I think I got the cooler stick. Ooh. I can my mic safe. <laughs> Home run. Hey. That's the best diss so far. I don't know. I don't know. I might be a little bit biased, guys, but... Ooh. I mean, you, you could wave a little little wand around, a little piece of wood, you know? Or you could come through with a lightsaber. All right, I know. I know what I'm rolling into the bar with. That's all I'm saying. You have powerful gifts, but between the two of us... But also, stick could mean, you know, a little bit down there, a little bit of a... Innuendo going on. He's got a bigger stick. Get it, Luke. I think I got the cooler stick. Swing it. My mic saber cut Ooh. through you so slightly. Beat switch. Hit you on the floor like an arm at most icely. Hit you with... Come on. Now he's getting into these disses. To do a powerful gift, but between Watch this. the two of us, I think I got the cooler stick. Swing it. My mic saber cut through you so slightly. Hit you on the floor like an arm at most icely. Ooh, you... most icely cantina. Isn't that where Obi-Wan... <laughs> Chops off the arm. Right. And there was a big controversy about it. Because in fan fiction and all that, a lightsaber is super, super hot in theory, right? It's a laser. Just when it cuts you, um, you know, you, you shouldn't be bleeding because the, the wound is cauterized right then and there, isn't it? But that scene, there was blood on the arm. Now, this was the beginning of the Star Wars series before they kind of, you know, started looking more into details and figuring stuff out. So you got to give them some leeway for that. But I like I like that little reference. Hey, you really got to know this fan fiction. I'm going to miss stuff. I know I'm going to be missing stuff. I'm sure you guys will tell me in the comment section. But I'll break things down. So I'm going to do the best that I can. But my knowledge doesn't go as deep as a lot of you, I'm sure. Saber cuts through you so slicey. Leave you on the floor like oh, an and I love the ad lib of the lightsaber. You can hear it as it's swinging so slicey. Listen to this. This is cool. My mic saber cuts through you so slightly. Hey, Hit you on the nice. floor like an arm at most icely. Mm. Hit you with the wampa raps. I get icy. <laughs> Lay them in your face like that'll do nicely. I fly Ooh. the X wing to save a Hey, Han Solo. Han Solo coming through. That'll do nicely. Another famous movie reference. Also, the Wampa raps. You know, icy. It's cold because the Wampas, you know, live on the ice planet. Let's go. Get icy. Land them in your face like. That'll do nicely. I fly the X-Wing to save a planet from massacre. You fly a broom like some kind of magical janitor. Your double dweeb army likes to think that you're the best. All you did was use your mom like a bulletproof vest. The death of my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that's that's that is the best diss so far. Use your mom like a bulletproof vest. Because, you know, Voldemort did the Avada Kedavra, the killing spell, and his mom was in front of him and saved Harry. Yeah. Wow. That hurts. That one. That one hurts. And what, what else did he say about, yeah, saving a planet from massacre? I like that. I, oh, it was the janitor line. Hold up. Let's appreciate it. Save a planet from massacre. You fly a broom like some kind of magical janitor. I like that. Like, all right, so to me so far, Harry has definitely come through with some really, really clever depth of wordplay. Luke has been more surface level, but I like Luke's rhyming pockets better. He's had some good little internal rhyme schemes. His delivery, he's got that swagger to it. And then he's just got these hard punches, man. And in a diss battle, it's not always about who's got the better technicals. Who can hit harder? I think Luke has hit harder so far. Your double dweeb army likes to think that you're the best. All you did was use your mom like a bulletproof vest. Mm. The death of my mother saved the wizarding race. Your mom died of heartache when she saw your face. You swamp school dropout. It's why you gotta do me like that, Harry? Why you gotta do me like that, man? Come on. Bruh. That, that was a great response to Luke's diss. What? All right, man. All right, gotta give it back to Harry now. 
what a way to flip that because uh, when Padma gave birth to Luke and Leia, then she died. She saw Luke and she died. Oh, man. Come on. Come on. And that was such a letdown. Why did they do that in the series? I'm still mad about that. Wizarding race. Your mom died of heartache when she saw your face. You swamp school dropout. You're too whiny. All right. We're going to have a quick story time of just how far deep Knox is into this. When, uh, what was it? The prequel came out. When the third one came out, you know, like tailgating. So me and my friends thought it would be fun if we, uh, we tailgated for it and went to the midnight premiere. So we were out in the parking lot, you know, we were grilling food. We were, uh, drinking, having a good time, playing games, throwing the football. Yeah. And then went in and watched Star Wars. That happened. Ryan, at least when I slither in the sister, she isn't mine. Oh, I'm the boy who lived bestseller without equal. I'll split you like your fan bases. No, no wordplay. Wordplay. Hey, Harry does have some really clever wordplay. When I slither in a sister, slither in, you know, one of the houses of Hogwarts, but also because uh, Harry got with Ron's sister. Harry's with. Yeah, okay, so Harry's with Ron's sister, but Luke was actually, you know, he did kiss Leia in one of the movies, so. Okay, okay, Harry. All right, all right. She isn't mine. Oh, I'm the boy who lived bestseller without equal. I'll split you like your fan base is feelings about the prequel. The sequels want you back to meet your demise. Oh, I'd say you're no. brilliant, but I must not tell lies. I left you. When Harry gets punished and he has to use that pen that actually turns out instead of ink, it uses his blood and he's writing it on his hand over and over again. I must not tell lies. Oh, I like that. I like that. Because, yeah, you know, they brought Luke back and he just kind of faded away, didn't he? To meet his demise, you know, he just went into the force. And it was kind of an anticlimactic ending for such an iconic character. In my opinion, at least. Ooh. And how the fans the fans are split about the prequels. Again, when the prequels came out, we all hated the prequels. So I, I don't know if there's like a new generation of y'all keyboard warriors that think that the prequels are somehow good in any way. You know they're not good, right? You know they're not good. Please, please. Back to meet your demise I'd say you were brilliant But I must not tell lies I left JK straight rolling in cash Hey, I left JK straight rolling in cash JK Rowling, rolling See how he says it? It's even written in there The double's written into the lyrics Brilliant, but I must not tell Wait. lies I left JK straight rolling, rolling in cash. cash Nice. You let JJ compact your character to trash Oh, no Again, another great visual movie reference And I love the Lego violence Lego violence is just it's so pleasing for some reason. I don't know what's wrong with me in my mind. But, you know, the infamous trash compactor scene when they're trying to escape from the trash compactor. Um, so he's playing off of that, but also saying, like, J.J. Abrams. So now we're taking distance to J.J. Abrams, like, just compacted Luke's character into trash and just made it, made Luke flat, made him two-dimensional, really. I mean, what a terrible story arc for Luke. The, listen, the sequels were not as bad as the prequels, though, okay? Sequels are not better than the originals. I don't think anything will stack up to, you know, Last Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and all of that, but the sequels at least were entertaining, and they were a ride. They took you on a journey. The prequels, I don't, I don't know what they did. JK straight rolling in cash. You let JJ compact your character to trash. Oh. So go on, try and force more of your distance. You're like a stormtrooper. Cause all your shit misses. Yo. That's right, Art. Yo. How true is that, though? I mean, I'm watching The Mandalorian right now, and I was just thinking that the other day. I swear, man, when they were, uh... Wait, whoa, where were they? Come on, brain's not working anymore. But anyways, they were at the uh, the base and they weren't sure what they were doing. And it turns out they were doing research on there. And then, you know, they're just cranking through the stormtroopers and not a single one ever hits them. And that's just infamous of the Star Wars series. Like stormtroopers have the worst aim just on planet Earth and in the galaxy. You're like a stormtrooper. That's dope. That's right, R2. It does sound like he left all this fire in the goblet. Ooh. Ooh, nice little goblet of fire reference. Best book in the Harry Potter series, in my opinion. Not as good the movie, though. You know what's funny? I didn't enjoy the, uh, the fifth book, The Order of the Phoenix, as much. The fourth book I really enjoyed. Fourth movie, didn't like as much. Fifth book, did not enjoy as much. Fifth movie? 
one of the best movies, in my opinion, in the series. The uh, the acting in that one. Why I'm having a brain cramp. Somebody's gonna have to help me. But the uh, the lead character, the the woman, the the teacher, such a great job acting in that. Really. That's right, R2. It does sound like he left all this fire in the goblet. <laughs> Maybe he will get rescued by an anorexic hobbit. I think it's pretty clear that you and I are pretty different. <sighs> I like this line, but I don't like this line. Because I'm also a, uh, a Lord of the Rings fan. Wow, we're learning a lot about me today. Um, one of my favorite trilogies and books that I've ever read. Lord of the Rings. It wasn't actually a trilogy. It got split by his publicist later as a trilogy. But anyways, going off on tangents. But I remember especially like the Star Wars versus Lord of the Rings talk. You know, what was the better franchise and series? And now Harry Potter's kind of getting dragged into that too, just in terms of books and movies. So I like that because he's kind of throwing a little bit of shade at Lord of the Rings. All right. He's, he's doing that. But then he did Dobby. He just did Dobby the house elf wrong by calling him an anorexic hobbit. Man, I like Dobby. Why Dobby have to die? We'll get rescued by an anorexic hobbit. I think it's pretty clear that you and I are pretty different. My drive hyper. That's clever. I think it's pretty clear that you and I are pretty different. Just nice little flip on pretty there in the wordplay. Your drive's privet. Oh, I missed that line. Bring it back. It's pretty clear that you and I are pretty different. My drive's hyper. Your drive's privet. Ah. I've got more rhymes. Ah, because Harry is from Privet Drive, whereas Luke goes into Hyper Drive. And I like how this scene, the instrumentation changes. Do, 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 do. You got a different percussion track in the background. There's been some really nice production switches just to highlight some of the changes in the flow in the rhymes. But here, Luke is, is going to the dark side, and he's dressed at that. You got Vader behind him. You and I are pretty different. My drive's hyper. Your drive's privet. Mm. I've got more rhymes than sand grains on Tatooine. Nice. You couldn't pull in the wind with a tractor beam. I crushed an empire, a galaxy large. I blew up the Death Star. You blew up Aunt Mars. I popped you. No. Luke is like, look, man. You, you're doing this. I'm doing this. I'm blowing up Death Stars. I'm saving the galaxy. What are you doing? You're just blowing up your Aunt Mars with a spell that's gone wrong? Empire Galaxy Large. I blew up. And it wasn't even Harry that blew her up. No, because then he got in trouble from school and they tried to expel him. That's right, for using magic when he was underage, but it was actually Dobby that did it, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, good job, Knox. Death Star, you blew up at Mars. I popped you where Poppy Poppy can't be healing you. Ooh. Unlike a great disturbance in the Force, I'm not feeling you. Death would eat you up. With Unlike a great disturbance in the Force, I'm not feeling you. Because when there is a great disturbance in the Force, I feel a great disturbance in the Force. So he's saying, unlike it, I'm not really feeling you. Okay. I can't be healing you Unlike a great disturbance in the force I'm not feeling you Death would eat you up Without Hermione and luck Because Ooh. your own skills Wingardium Leviosa You're a dud Wingardium Leviosa And you know It's when you make things float in the air And you see the uh, the Death Eaters Luke makes them float in the air Suck And then when he says suck They drop to the floor Okay I like that one I like that one But the line that hit harder for me Was that Harry has always relied on luck and the help of his friends. You know, the argument can be made that it's not Harry's own talent and skill that helped him in these situations. You know, a lot of it, it was it was right timing. It was luck and being surrounded by a great supporting cast. When Luke is like, man, man, who was, who, who was flying that X-Wing? I'm just saying. Who flew that X-Wing and took that shot? All right? There was, you know, Hermione wasn't jumping in the cockpit and doing that. That's all, that's all I'm saying. You up without Hermione and luck because your own skills, Wingardium Levio, suck. You're a dud like Dursley. Oh, Dudley, Dudley Dursley, you're a dud. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Luck because your own skills, Wingardium Levio, suck. You're a dud like Dursley, but worse. How long is this? Oh my god. 22 minutes already. I did not think that ERB was going to take me this long. Oh no. Oh no, what have I started? And I'd rather hurt nerf than have to endure your third birth. Ooh, what was that flow? Beat you up without Hermione and luck because your own skills, Wingardium Levio, suck. You're a dud like Dursley, but worse. And I'd rather hurt nerf than have to endure your third birth. I'd rather hurt nerf than have to endure your third verse. Ooh, nice pocket. Nice pocket. I like that one. 
heard rap before that was not dope at all Maybe have Goldie Ball show you the protocol uh. But I bet you're just distracted, you got a lot on your plate On one hand the rebellion, on the other hand, oh wait I roll deep in the- On one hand the rebellion, on the other hand Oh wait, cause Luke got his hand cut off That's right, Empire Strikes Back Yeah that was a good diss. Lord on your plate. On one hand, the rebellion. On the other hand, oh wait. I roll deep and the Weasley's got my back. This muggle sucks more hole than the bloody Sarlacc. We'll rough you up good. <laughs> hey, Ron Weasley with the cameo. Fred and George coming through with the cameo. Hey, extra points. Extra points for that. And then this muggle. Say that Luke's a muggle. Luke's not really a muggle, though, because he has the force. I mean, he's like the futuristic wizard. Isn't he? The Weasley's got my back. This muggle sucks more hole than the bloody Sarlacc. Ah, the Sarlacc. Jabba the Hutt scene, right? The big hole in the ground in the desert, and it just sucks in everything, and it takes, what, thousands of years to digest you? All right, I like that one. I roll deep, and the Weasley's got my back. This muggle sucks more hole than the bloody Sarlacc. We'll rough you up good if you try to step to Harry, mate. You're the least intimidating twin since Mary Kay. I flow like butter beer and dice. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen just got dissed on a Harry Potter and Luke Skywalker diss battle. Well, nothing is off limits anymore, Batman. To Harry, mate, you're the least intimidating twin since Mary Kate. I flow like butter beer on Diagon Street. Uh, you can find me getting fantastic on these beats. Hey, fantastic beats. The spin-off. Sorry, fantastic beasts. The spin-off series. I like that, but he's getting fantastic on these beats. Hey, Butterbeer, man, I wish that that stuff was real. Maybe for another time. Beer on I mean, I know they do sell Butterbeer, but it's not, you know, it's not, it's not the same, is it? How can I say that? How is a fictional beer not the same as what they're making? You can find me getting fantastic on these beats. It's over, Luke. I got the high ground advantage. I'll close it like a map. Mischief map. Ah, you should have I like that. Hey, I like that. It's over, Luke. Mischief Manus, the Marauders map. You say Mischief Manus to close it. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. That's a good way to finish it, bro. I'll close it like a map. Mischief Ooh, the Deathly Hollow symbol throwing that in there, too. Nice. You should have Hagrid fly your home on his moped. If I want a teenage wizardry, I'd call Selena Gomez. My attack tactics are galactic. Hey, I'm telling you. <sighs> just when I think that Harry's got it, man, Luke comes back and just... Whoosh. What a diss. What a diss. Wizards of Waverly Place. That's where Selena Gomez got her start. A lot of people might not realize that. So he's dissing that. And then they had this famous thing like commercial breaks and stuff when they would, you know, take the wand out and paint the uh, the Mickey Mouse ears. And she actually did that. That just happened. That's a good diss. Vantage, I'll close it like a map. Mischief manage. You should have Hagrid fly your home on his moped. If I want a teenage wizardry, I'd call Selena Gomez. <laughs> My attack tactics are galactically hardcore. Far more than your goofy little Scar Wars. I learned flow from the best. Hey, Scar Wars, because Harry's got his scar. Star Wars, Scar Wars. Galactically hardcore. Far more than your goofy little Scar Wars. I learned flow from the best in the biz. Get funky. So all of you <laughs> that end this is. My clunky. My Jedi mind. My clunky. Did that? Did that really just happen? That? That? This is real life right now. In the biz. Get funky. So all of you that end this is. My clunky. My what was it? Isn't it? Uh, what's the McClunky thing? It's the Han Solo scene when he's talking to that alien dude, and I can't remember the alien's name, right? And for some reason, they went back and they've they've changed like his death before he gets shot. And he just he's speaking this alien language, and then you hear the words pretty clearly, McClunky. Like, what are we in? <laughs> Is he screaming out to his Scottish ancestors before he gets shot and dead? This intergalactic alien. I mean, it's it's just a random noise that is made, but it is McClunky. I mean, the the fandom went crazy on that. Over the best in the biz. Get funky. So all of you that end this is McClunky. A Jedi mind trick. Put the next on your Imperium. Tip them uh, up like death sticks. I'm Bellatrix. Dead serious. No need. <sighs> oh, now he's matching Harry with some of this good wordplay now. Bellatrix. Dead serious. I'm deadly serious with what I'm saying and doing, but also Bellatrix killed serious. Ooh, ooh, and then the death sticks because the Elder Wand was called a death stick. 
Then in Star Wars, they reference death sticks too, but those are like drugs, aren't they? Best in the biz. Get funky. So all of you that get this in. We're clunky. My Jedi mind tricks. Put the nicks on your Imperium. Tip it up like death sticks. I'll bella tricks. Dead serious. No uh, need to ask Jedi mind tricks. Because the Imperious curse controls you. But he's saying, hey, hey, I don't I don't need to wave my wand and do that. I just use my Jedi mind tricks. Next on your Imperium. Tip it up like death sticks. I'll bella tricks. Dead serious. No need to expelliarmus, you're heartless in a duel Call me the Hogwarts Express I just took you to school Who won? Who stirred? Man, the bounce to this beat Like this little bass distortion going down We're done, aren't we? I'm just letting it roll to make sure there's no surprises. That was fun. Yeah, we're done. Wow. My camera's gonna die. Hang on, I'm gonna give you my conclusion after I fix this. All right, we're back. We're back. So. Who do I think won? So I think in terms of the, the double and triple entendres, some of the depth to the, you know, the, the movie references, the literary references, the macro references, I got to give that to Harry. There were some really, really clever lines. But in terms of just some of the rhyme schemes, like the, the technical side of that, Mm, Luke had some nice flows, man. Really nice flows. Really nice pockets that he sat in. And he just had just, to me, more hard-hitting disses. Harry definitely dove deeper. But, man, Luke just had some some painful swings. I like that. But Harry had a really nice rebuttal about uh, using his mom as a bulletproof vest. And then Luke's mom dying of a heart attack seeing his face. Oh, that's a good back and forth. All right. I'm a, I'm a give it to Luke. I'm a give it to Luke, man. I just thought he had that little bit of extra swagger to it, and I just like some of his disses better. But you guys know I'm a, I'm a little bit biased. I mean, I have read all the Harry Potter books. I am a Harry Potter fan too. But yeah, I'm gonna give this one to Luke. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think won? And tell me why. Don't just, don't just tell me who won. Back it up with some facts. Comment down below. But anyways. Harry Potter, Luke Skywalker, epic rap battles. This is fun, man. You guys want me to do more? You're Knox Hill certified. So I hope you guys liked today's video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Comment down below any other ERBs that you want to see me do or if there's other artists you want to see me check out. You know I read all of your comments, guys. I try to respond to them as much as I can. So please keep commenting and keep posting. Also, 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 brand new album, 20 tracks. A lot of time, blood, sweat, tears, heart and soul pumped into it. It's a ride, man. I promise you guys will enjoy it. Check it out. That link will be below. Anyways, it's Knoxville. Stay safe. Stay positive. I'll catch you in the next vid. I'm out.